I've got a lovely dish for you this week. I'm going to do samphire, which has just come in. Lovely summer dish with red mullet. Hope you enjoy it. This dish is really about this stuff, samphire. I'm going to show you how to cook it off, but before we do that, I've already gutted and scaled this red mullet, and what I'm going to do now is just take the fillets off. Take that one off, one fillet, and the second one, you've just got to work along the contours of either side, like so, and have a very sharp, flexible knife if you're doing the fish, and then you can't really go wrong. When you get to that part, just try and use the heel of the knife to get more purchase on it, and then you can take the second fillet off. You can take out the rib cage, like so. So we'll do that with this one too. If you run your finger down here, there will be seven or eight uh, bones. Seven or eight of them just needed to, to, to be removed. So we're gonna do that right away, like so. Right, those are nicely prepped, so I'm just going to rub a little bit of olive oil to both sides. Those are going to go in, in that oven, probably for about six or seven minutes. You can actually pan fry them. These are going to go in. So I'm actually going to use vegetable oil, not olive oil. Vegetable oil burns at a much higher temperature. You can also use a bit of butter for this. So I'm going to put some of that in too. And then let's just turn the temperature up. So that's really sizzling. In goes the garlic, like that. Lovely. A bit of a shake. Samphire goes in. And we've got our lemon. This is literally all you have to do. And at this time of the year, it's just coming in. It goes with anything, really. Right, let me take those red mullets out of the oven. And I think what we'll do is plate up now. So that samphire is just butter, a little bit of vegetable oil, no salt. Plenty of garlic, and then over here, we've got these lovely fillets, red mullet, beautifully cooked. I mean, that to me says early summer. A little bit of olive oil, finally a squeeze of lemon juice. And there you have samphire and fillets of red mullet. Enjoy your summer. Thanks for watching. As regular viewers will know, anyone that leaves a nice review on either Facebook or uh, Google gets their name put in a bowl and will win a free pasta machine. And the winner this week is Paul Wooding. So congratulations, Paul. Uh, do tune in for the next video where I will be showing you how to make an asparagus and gruyere cheese souffle.